Yeah, I know I got some of you guys. I, I know I at least got one person, man. Yo! What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back to another scary video. This one, we got top 10 scary ghost videos to make you spell badly. Now, I'm not here to waste any more time. So, without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. When bad things come to those who wait. This next mysterious video was shared to the internet without a source. The footage really? appears to have been recorded by a CCTV camera inside a restaurant while the staff is finishing up work and cleaning up for the night. Mm. What happens next is shocking. You're already, man. Already. She didn't even notice. Yeah, this music, though. Whoa! Bucket, can you see sliding? Bro, that entity is aggressive. Hold up. Nah, you had to have did something to provoke it. There's no way it would just do that to you out of nowhere without any sort of reason. Across the restaurant what did you do? By itself. But most horrifying of all, some kind of invisible force violently grabs the waitress by her hair oh. and pulls her backwards out of frame. Now, without a source, we don't know what happened next. But I'm imagining lots of screaming and running. Yes, a lot of quitting too. Oh dear. Oh dear. A couple dear. of young hunters are out scouting the countryside for deer. They search and film through a camera with a long range lens. When suddenly the hunter catches something that is just weird. Respond while we're watching them. All right. How do you Look, track them? There's two more black right dots. Here. Cody. Black dots? Oh, oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? What the frick? What the f <laughs> What <laughs> was that? He's walking. He's walking creepy. Dude, that was a skinwalker. What? Follow him. Follow I videoed him. it. I videoed it. I don't know what I'm looking at. I thought it was the black dots. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> I'm gonna get my <laughs> That was a skinwalker. No. What? Even in the distance and with the bad video oh. quality, it is obvious that some strange, large, misshapen figure seems to be chasing the deer and running at an inhumanly fast. Bro, whatever that is, that thing is hungry, man. It's a it's a long skinwalker with one long arm and one T-Rex arm, and it's just dragging with the long arm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to chase the deer, man. He's never gonna catch a deer running like that. Speed. The unidentified figure looks humanoid in shape, but appears to run on all fours like an animal. It's like one long arm you got. Laugh it off, but are baffled by what they just captured. The hunters still have no idea what they filmed to this day. It's crazy. Through the eyes of a child. Early one evening in Louisiana, Mallory Weber is taking a fun video of her son Cashton when something unexpected happens that absolutely chills her. Uh, what you whoa. doing? What you see? Dear Papa. What? Papa. What do you see? Hi. Uh uh. Who are you saying hi yeah, to? Yeah. Uh uh. Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You're freaking me out. Come on. The little boy appears Ooh. to see someone standing inside Mallory's bedroom. Someone he calls Paw Paw. Freaked out by his behavior, Mallory quickly walks over to the bedroom to look inside, but there's no one there. Yeah. Baffled by what just happened, she posts her video to TikTok where it quickly spreads and is watched by millions. Her comment section is flooded with questions, so she decides to answer a few in two more videos. There's really not much of a backstory, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just videoing him being cute and saying cheese and then that happened. Um. Never happened before. Both his grandpas are still alive. It's my grandpa 
and my husband's grandpa that both passed away like a year ago um mm. he did meet both of them uh they never lived in my house before that bedroom was me and my husband's bedroom i'm trying to think of all the questions because i want to answer all y'all um I don't know. That's about it. This never happened before, so that's why I was telling him to stop and that it was freaking me out because I didn't know how to respond. It never happened and it was freaking me out. Uh, well, she about to cry. It. Who's Papa? Um, Papa could be my grandpa or my husband's grandpa because they both passed the same year. Um, both of my son's grandpas are both alive. I don't know if you'd call them grandpas, papas, grandfather, I don't know, but we call them papa. Wait, I thought papa means dad. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I thought, I think that, I thought that's what it was. I don't Down know. Down here. That's what we call them. I hope that answered your question. I don't know. So could it be that the boy saw the spirit of one of his parents' grandfathers? Probably. Or what do you think is going on here? Definitely saw Let something though. In another video, this time from Georgia, proud mother Christy is home alone with her two-year-old son Levi when he too sees something that his mother just can't see. Where's your favorite place to go? Oh, he noticed something. What do you see? I see something behind her. I see something behind her. You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad knee. Let's what does it look like? A bad knee? A ghost. A ghost? It is one. No, no, there's no ghost. No ghost here. Ghost be gone. Yeah, she freaked out. Right uh, mommy, clean my room. It's not scary in my room. It's not scary in your room? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to stop acting weird. It's scary in here. It's not scary in here. I see a scary thing floating in the air. There's a scary thing floating? Mm -hmm. Where? The hat. Baby, there's nothing there. Wait, I think I've seen the mirror move. <laughs> No, there's Bro, not. I think the mirror is Stop moving. It. I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> Little Levi appears to see something that he describes to be a quote bad thing, a quote ghost, and a quote scary floating thing. Yep. He urges his mother to go to his room where, in his words, it's not scary. After the shock wears off a little, Christy seems to kind of believe him, and she follows her son into his room. Look, it's kind of scary. Clean my room. Try to clean mommy. Clean my room. Clean this scary. Oh, clean my room. Mm. Uh, mommy, clean me. Okay. Cool. Mommy, cool. Mm. Bro, that. I, I swear I seen the mirror move when she pointed at the wall. Like, I don't, I think I'm, bro. It's not nothing scary. Nothing scary. Now, it's worth mentioning that Christy's TikTok page is completely dedicated to cute videos of her son, but none of them have anything to do with the paranormal, except these two. So could little Levi really be seeing a ghost? Something yes. that's scary enough for him to warn his mother and guide her to safety? Let me know what you think. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Inheritance. This next TikTok user might seem familiar to you as we've featured the beginning of his story on Nuke's Top 5 before. Oh, really? Now Jacob says that he inherited his grandmother's house after she passed away and he now lives in the old home. While cleaning out his grandmother's belongings, he finds a creepy old antique oh, Chester doll. No, man. Jacob feels eerily drawn to the strange doll and decides to keep it. Here we go, bro. On top of a bureau. Who's buying that? Like, bro, that's bro, that one question is like a million questions. 
Who is buying that creepy life? That thing looks like it's taller than me. And I'm 6'5". Bro, look how I'm just smiling in the dark. Like, bro, that thing is... That thing is real. I don't care, bro. That thing is alive. Bro, in his bedroom, it was a very bad idea. Bro, he should do that. I was woken man. up by the sound of knocking coming from his bedroom closet. <sighs> Why is he propped up on the dresser like that? And then the bed is in... Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me know something about y'all. Would you buy a doll like this? And if you somehow do, would you let it sit right in front of your bed as you're sleeping? Looking like that? If you say yes, come to the front. Come to the front. If you say yes. Now what in your right mind? I just heard knocking from the closet. Oh. Yeah, I think we've seen this before. I think it's gonna move. <sighs> nah, why is he facing the bed? That's the real question, bro. Bro, look, I don't care if it's fake. I don't care if somebody moved the head while he was in there. But, dude, that doll itself is scary. Like, it doesn't matter if it's fake or not. Like, bro, that thing is haunted. Soon after posting this horrifying video, Jacob just sort of disappeared from the internet. Now it's nearly seven months later. Oh, so got an update? Jacob is back. He says he's been busy slowly renovating the house and has now moved the Jester doll into its own room. Dude, says that get rid of it, bro. Come on, bro. Like, why are you so fascinated with that? Like, bro, there is absolutely no way you kept the doll and gave it his own room. Now that whole room is gone, you can't even open the door. If you open the door, it's over for you, man. For seven months, nothing really happened. But then late one night, Jacob is again woken up by a strange sound. What happens next? is chilling. I just heard banging. I ain't gonna lie, whatever happens to you, you deserve it, man. I don't wish harm on nobody but bro. This is common sense. Get rid of it. Wait, what is that? I mean, we know what it is, but bro. You know what's causing that, and you still decided to keep it. Need some WD-42. Alright, I'm fully immersed. And then you're gonna see right next door to the doll. Wow. Come on, bro. You're doing everything wrong. See how that wall is corroded? Yeah. Here we look, it's over for you now. Like, at this point, I don't even feel bad. He wants this to happen. Did I miss something? Bro. Yo, I'm telling you, that's real. That's a lie. room next to his. The room where he keeps the Jester doll. He gets up to investigate, but finds nothing out of the ordinary. But then, 
he hears loud footsteps coming up the staircase right behind him. Oh, that's what it Doors was? Doors of the doll's room slowly swings open, and when he turns around, the doll now seems to be staring at him. Just look at that. It Jacob's looks devious. Jacob's absolutely freaked out and decides to move the doll once again. But this time, he leaves it all the way down in the basement. After every Can you get rid of the doll? Like, bro. If you... Dude, there's no way, man. I don't feel... Hopefully, you guys don't feel bad either. Like, I mean, that sounds bad. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, bro. Come on, man. You got this. You know it's creepy. And you know this is causing everything to happen. And you still keeping it. You moved it again into the different part of the house. Why? Get rid of it. Burn it or something it's like happened. that. He decides to buy a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy doll. And that might have been a mistake. Because just Bro, look at this. after putting the gesture doll down in the basement, things start to happen that are absolutely terrifying. Yeah, now you made it mad now. Hmm. Bro. I'm telling you, it's alive. Strange shadows can be seen moving around the creepy doll, and TikTok viewers swear that they can see one of the doll's eyes moving. No, I saw the lips That's moving. That's not all that Jacob's security camera captures. What happens next is pure nightmare fuel. Is that a tub? Like I said, that thing is alive. That fan ain't, it's not even blowing that way. It's a lot. Yeah, you just made it angry. Whoa, what the freak was that? The doll's arm moves by itself just before the basement light bulb shatters. Then in a later video, the camera is pushed over without explanation. Jacob now believes he might have inherited a seriously haunted house and doll, and is getting increasingly more freaked out as each night passes. He doesn't want the doll anywhere near him and will continue to keep it in the basement. You can follow Jacob's paranormal captures over on his TikTok page, the clown doll five bro will never learn what waits Crazy. below paranormal investigators jeff phil and mark from the youtube channel ghost tech paranormal investigations explore the kelvin and hatch nuclear bunker in england in the early 1950s the bunker was built 125 feet underground and was intended to be the center of operations for the uk if there was ever a nuclear attack the entrance to the massive structure is hidden inside an otherwise very normal looking cottage in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by woods. Visitors and staff have often reported seeing multiple apparitions inside the bunker walls. Mm. An old lady is often seen wandering the hallways. A female Royal Air Force officer in uniform is said to appear and shout at visitors shout. to get out. And finally, a male officer known as Charles allegedly wanders the areas on the second floor. The bunker was decommissioned in 1992 and is now a museum. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team plans to spend the entire night underground in the bunker as they attempt to capture evidence of the alleged ghostly sightings. Now the Kelvin Bunker has three levels, and the investigators find themselves on the top floor passing through the dormitories. On a previous investigation of the Kelvin Hatch nuclear bunker, Lead investigator Jeff says that he experienced a completely unnerving paranormal experience in this very room. Let's see. Whoa. You all right? <laughs> I made you jump. Yeah, I got touched on my arm. In there, right next. I thought the camera got shoved too. Hello?
Did you just touch me? And now, years later, Jeff and his team are back again. Back. Alone inside the same dormitory room and in pitch black darkness once again. The guys do their investigation and then decide to leave the dorms. But it did not go well. We finished the session in the dormitories and as we try to leave, the door will not open as if it's been held from the other side. I try to open the door, pulling as hard as I can, but the door will not open. <laughs> Y'all stuck. There's no way out. Who's holding that door? Can we come out, please? No, you gotta stay there. We want to come out now. Thank you. It actually let them out. That's fucking weird. That's a creepy door. There's nothing wrong with that door now. The dormitory exit door seems to be held shut by some unknown force. But then, after a polite request, it suddenly just opens with ease. Jeff says that it felt like someone was holding the door shut on the other side. Mm. Now, this is where things take a very creepy turn. After a long night of investigating, the team heads off to bed. Bill is preparing to lay down inside well, the dormitory when, unbeknownst to him, their static camera captures something chilling. Phil arranges his bed. There is no one else on this level at this time. And as he climbs into his bunk bed, a figure which moves at great speed passes the window at the far end. You can see the dark hair and a white shirt as it passes by. An unknown figure passes by the same door that was held shut by something earlier. The Ghost Tech team says that no one else was on this floor at this time, and the entrance to the bunker was locked shut. Also, it goes without saying that this small, dark-haired figure certainly doesn't look like any of the Ghost Tech team. So just who or what is this? Oh no, but it's scary. You can watch this investigation with even more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Misfire. Misfire. Top 5 viewer Luke Hosea reached out to me about a very strange event that took place in broad daylight on the street in front of his home in Leicestershire, England. The spooky and baffling moment was caught by his family's CCTV camera. No, it's not showing anything. I mean. It's not very oh, what? what? A bizarre bright light that resembles fire Yo. seems to appear out of nowhere what behind the cars. That? Luke says that neither he or his family have any idea what these strange fireballs could be. There are no electrical lines and no telephone lines running above this particular area. So I leave it up to you. What do you are think you sure? this strange ball hey, of light? Nah, man. I saw it. Look. No, no power lines, no right? Lines running above this particular area, so I leave it. What's that? Oh, I'm in the way. Dang, I can't move it. But oh, you can see it right here. Like, look on, look on the um, the left of my face cam. You see that little line? Is a whole line going right there? What's that? Power line. Exactly, man. It's up to you. What do you think this strange ball of light is? That I'm I don't stopped, know. So let me know. I don't think a power line will cause that. Woman. 
Paranormal investigators Pete and Dan from the YouTube channel Night Watchers Paranormal Australia set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Mapleton Cemetery in Australia. The story goes that over the years many people have witnessed the eerie apparition of a woman crossing the road next to the cemetery. They mm. say that the mysterious woman waved at them and then seemed to disappear right before their eyes. Dan and Pete begin their investigation by setting up two static cameras, one recording in night vision mode. As the investigators are still deploying several motion sensors around the graveyard, their night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. I bet. Right, so they're walking to the back of the cemetery. Oh, it went towards him. That shadow figure went towards him. Yikes. A dark oh, shadow-like figure can be seen quickly darting from right to left across the cemetery grounds. Now, whatever it is, the figure is dense enough that it actually blocks out the light of Pete and Dan's flashlight as it passes right behind them. Oh, I didn't even notice the that. The investigators don't hear or see anything at the time and they only discover what they captured later when reviewing their footage. So could it be that the mysterious waving woman made an appearance? Or mm. let me know what you think this is. That could have been something else. You can watch else. this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, Night Watchers Paranormal Australia, Danvers State Hospital. So these next two videos were posted to YouTube a long time ago and nothing in either video was intended to show anything supernatural. In fact, both videos were posted by urban explorers who have never posted a single paranormal video ever. But some sharp-eyed Nukes Top 5 viewers watched these videos and noticed something strange that was missed. The first video was sent in by Nukes Top 5 viewer Macy Asher. The video was recorded way back in 2003 by a guy named Dave who was filming inside the infamous old Denver State Hospital. That looks creepy. The Denver's hospital was an insane asylum built back in 1874. That's Eventually, what it, like. it was discovered that patients were being subjected to horrible treatment and abuse at the Why? hands of the hospital staff. Why are people like this? Denver State Hospital was closed and abandoned in the 1990s. It goes without saying that the huge empty structure was said to be extremely haunted. So Dave oh, is exploring the basement while recording everything on an old analog camcorder. Dave doesn't know it, but he captures something truly bizarre. Yeah, he didn't see that? That shadow figure. Did you see it? Yup. A dark figure can be seen moving inside a doorway. Now Dave has never said that what was captured was anything paranormal. In fact, he's never even saw the figure. And mm. the footage is over 20 years old. But a watchful Nukes Top 5 viewer spotted this creepy figure and... I'm not sure what it is. Could it be that Dave accidentally captured the spirit of a Danvers Hospital patient? We'll never know. That's probably the because case. Because Danvers Hospital was torn down in 2007 and replaced by luxury apartments. Oh, who will live Seems there? Seems like a scary place to live. School spirit. Mm. This next video was sent in by Nuke Stop 5 viewer Ethan Sheely who together with his brother used to explore abandoned places in North Carolina and upload their footage to YouTube. But since then, Ethan has moved away from home, so no more exploring. One night, Ethan is feeling a bit nostalgic about the old explorations with his brother and takes a look back at their old videos. In a video where he is exploring an abandoned 1950s middle school, 
he spots something that he had never noticed before. That is terrifying. That thing on the wall. Did you see it? Wait, I, I missed it? At the end of a hallway, a dark figure can be seen stepping out of a doorway and then disappearing right back inside. Oh, I did not see Ethan that. Ethan explains that he and his brother explored every single inch of the building that day and they didn't find any squatters or homeless people in the building. So he has no idea who or what this could be. Hell's Kitchen. This next spooky video from Krugersdorp, South Africa was shared to Reddit by user PuzzleHeadedSnow23. The footage shows a woman taking a tour through an empty apartment, recording each room as she goes. But it seems that there might be something else inside the apartment with her. What the heck was that? And they didn't even see it. Well, I think did they? Did you see it? Oh, they did definitely An not see it. An identified figure can be seen walking through a door and just passing through the kitchen. Casually. Reddit user Puzzlehudded Snow twenty three claims that the filmer didn't notice whoever or whatever this is. So is this strange footage proof of the paranormal, or? Is it all just an elaborate hoax? That, I don't you know. Decide. I mean, it looks real, Thanks but so I don't much know. For watching. As always, my schedule is uh, weird, so please hit subscribe. All right, so I'm going to end it off right there, y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please smack the like button. Subscribe today to join the AA, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.